Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. Uh, this time it is technically a giveaway. I'm in a group that's kind of a feel-good group on Facebook dedicated to, uh, I guess, making people feel good during the quarantine. And so as part of my giveaways, I uh, am giving some of my journals away. And so this person requested kind of a witchy theme. She talked about red and black color schemes. Um, she talked about uh, images of eyes, um, tarot cards, um, just anything that sort of evoked kind of a, a witchy theme. So I'm not sure if I nailed it or not, but I'll let you guys see and you can be the ultimate judge, I guess. So I have my uh, cover here. And so we've got a collage of sorts with the main photo and then I've got this, um, these rosettes along the side. I altered a book called Stormy Weather and I've got my little tassel here. We've got this little lady here as a kind of a cameo and then a combination of black and white and red and maroon ribbons. And then I'll just do a quick flip through. Um, I went for kind of botanical images. Um, I have a unicorn here and a corset. Uh, this little doily. This children's image or children's toy became a pocket. And then I've got a handmade tag in the pocket. Got some lots of torn paper, lots of images, a bird and a tree branch. And this woman that has a sculpture but she has no arms or legs. Um, kind of went for dark, kind of biological images. We have this that's in the under the microscope. Here I have this image, this nude image, and it's a little booklet that opens up that can be written in. I have the embossed rose paper as a pocket, a uh, floppy disk card or holder, this pretty um, stenciled butterfly. This is an EKG or how to read an EKG book. So I just tried to find lots of opportunities to utilize black and red and white and to use either botanical images um, or these figures of these women. Of course, this is a Gibson girl, so um, not necessarily witchy, but kind of like the vibe that it created. This is from a children's book, and this girl, if you can see, has three eyes. A raven. This is on how to make marionettes. We have this beautiful bug that's covered with pollen. A frozen rose, the moon, there's an eye image and a snake skin pattern. You have this lady with her uh, with her stockings. I thought that was pretty cool. Feathers, jelly print, this cardinal. There's another little pocket some toads. Um, I'm trying to do lots of moons and um, planetary type things as well. Here we have a book on puppetry. A little pocket here. Here we have a hair. And a pocket that's got a skull illustration on it. There's a nude, some bugs and critters and things. Um, how to guess someone's age. This is from a tarot reading card. She mentioned the tree of life. And so um, I included that. Got some critters, heart image. This is an embossed image somebody sent me a while back that says love, so I made that into a pocket.
There's more planetary images, moons and suns and stars and so on. There's a bug up close. This is actually on propagating roses. Uh, yet it looks, it's funny when you're kind of going for kind of a creepy mood. There's a lot of things that end up making things look creepy without them necessarily needing to be. I think it's just juxtaposition. Here's another rose embossed and I made that into a pocket as well. Um, more tree of life from tarot card reading. A hair, candles. This is a pocket, a little cloth pocket. Um, this is a book on building wooden dolls. This woman who's kind of exotic and mysterious with her hat and the way she's grasping the dog there. A paint chip, another Gibson girl. Um, tree identification. Here's another pocket. We have a, a woman suffragette. Nuts and seeds. Just lots of cool women images. This heart scrapbook paper. A nude. Lots of animals and humans and flora and fauna of all sorts. Here we have another pocket. A Mendy hand. This contorted lady. A rattlesnake. More snakes. Another female illustration. I think this is from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, this is from a craft book. gemstones and crystals and wolves um, corn corn dolls a clock some jelly printing the female figure cats and this woman who's holding a horn Lots of legs in this book. Um, this is from the Farmer's Almanac. Yeah, Almanac, rather. Um, we have a pocket here. We have some feet and legs just kind of precariously hanging off of the page. Uh, we've got a Picasso image. bird sculpture and then this is my back page uh, just some more plant images and one more Gibson girl and I left the back um, alone so anyway um, I've also got my little tassels my little altered paper clips that are here and lending some I guess visual interest to the top of the book but yeah that's the the latest for me and so I'm getting ready to go downtown and deliver this at some point this evening and um, just figured I'd show it to you guys before it changes hands. Anyway, hopefully you guys are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.